What is going on YouTube? Once again, I'm here back with another video. Now today, EA ended up dropping some fire content here in NBA Live Mobile. Now I did not upload in just about a week, you know what I'm saying? And I do apologize about that. My schedule is extremely crazy right now. I got work every day, I got school, and then I gotta, you know, like think about making videos and stuff like that. So I got a pretty busy schedule, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm gonna try to upload as much as I can. And honestly, like there weren't really a lot of videos I could really make as far as like, you know, when it comes to NBA Live Mobile. So that's why I haven't really been uploading, but today EA just dropped some heat. Now, before we do dive into the new content, I want to give a huge shout out to the homie J Money. Now, uh, I started on my own record label. Uh, we're still in the beginning stages of it, you know what I mean? But J Money is one of the artists that is uh, on the label currently right now. He has an album dropping on Valentine's Day. All right, and this album is an absolute banger. All right, so you guys can go ahead and pre save it right now. The link will be at the top of the description, man. Show some love on him, you know what I'm saying? Show some love for the label. All right, show some love for the label. I currently have three artists on there right now my boy Big Show's on there, and my boy uh, JMC JC. I did a couple songs with him, I did Fallen Soldiers before it goes away. He's currently on the label right now as well. So if you guys rock with me, you know what I'm saying? Rock with the label as well, all right? Your boy's just trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to start up a business, all right? So show some love to your boy, all right? Also, moving forward, uh, later on in the future, you know what I'm saying? I wanna start posting my music on my music channel, all right, uh, which is UB Records. UB Records is the name of my record label. So if you guys rock on my music, make sure you guys subscribe to my second channel, UB Records. I'm gonna leave that link down below because uh, in the future, I will be releasing music on there. I'm gonna start transitioning all the music stuff from this channel over to there. So subscribe to that channel if you guys rock with the music, all right? I put a couple of sneak peeks of some new songs I got coming on my Instagram, all right? So make sure to follow me on Instagram. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. Those links will be down below, all right? So before we do dive into the new promo, all right? EA made an update to season mode. So a lot of people were complaining that, you know, season mode was uh, requiring way too much stamina to complete. You had to basically spend 50 stamina to play one quarter. So you're spending 200 stamina for each season game. And that's completely ridiculous. So it looks like EA changed it, all right? So uh, over the last couple of weeks, we've reached feedback. We've received feedback from the community regarding season mode quarter costs being too high. Unfortunately, a technical issue is preventing us from lowering it at this time without creating more issues. Rest assured, this will be addressed in a future game release. Uh, in order for this issue not to prevent you from enjoying season mode, starting today, every season quarter, one will reward 50 stamina until we can safely lower the cost of the quarter, all right? So that means that we're only gonna be paying 10 stamina for each stamina quarter, which means that each, uh, I say each stamina quarter, for each season quarter, and that will mean that each season game will only require 40 stamina instead of 200 stamina. So right now, it's still going to show up as 50 stamina, but after you win the quarter, they will be giving you 40 stamina back. So it's only going to cost you 10 stamina to play each quarter. So huge shout out to EA for that. That shows that they're actually paying attention to the reviews. Uh, you can actually leave a review. Uh, where is it at? There's a little link where you can leave a review. Um, it's not showing up right now, but they read the reviews, all right? So make sure to leave your honest opinion about the game so that EA knows, so that they'll know basically what the community thinks about the game. You know what I mean? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious to see uh, what you guys think about the game because um, usually like the first couple months of the game, aren't really too crazy you know what i mean so you guys gotta cut ea some slack 
it's like this every single year like we get the first promo of the year we get all of the stuff at the beginning all of the live today events and stuff like that but then after that it starts to slow down then we start to get these promos and all that so you guys just got to give it some time you know what i mean let me know how you guys feel about the game me personally i feel like this season will be the best season since season one and that's going to be my honest opinion like judging judging from the content already like we have a whole lot of stuff to do right now so let's take a look at the lunar new year promo now so uh i've been playing this promo uh i didn't play it while i was at work of course but <coughs> excuse me i do not have covid but once i started actually playing um i really started to enjoy it you know what i mean so let's take a look at it so uh once you start out right you got this middle event right here all right now once you play these events you'll be able to get these collectibles all right there's there's four different collectibles you're able to get so we got ourselves um green charm collectibles we got the lucky 14th uh collect uh, collectibles we got ourselves the yellow charm collectibles and we got the peach blossom collectibles now each one of these masters are going to require a certain collectible all right so let's go ahead and dive into the sets real quick all right so that we can take a look at these masters so we got ourselves an 84 uh shooting guard danny green let's take a look at his stats so he has 88 mid-range 88 three-pointer 88 contested shot that's real nice he also has 86 uh shooting touch 82 shot off dribble 83 on ball defense um 77 speed 80 dunking uh 81 scoring with contact so danny green looks like a beast right there now in order to get this 84 danny green all you have to do is put in 55 of your green charm collectibles all right and you get these collectibles from playing the events and you get the collectibles from the store all right our second master is an 84 overall devin booker right here uh shooting guard um he has 86 speed so if you guys are in need of a shooting guard right and you're looking at danny green you're looking at devin booker danny green only had 77 speed this devin booker has 86 speed 87 agility 85 dribble speed 89 dribbling 87 first step looking at it off rip devin booker is better than danny green so i wouldn't even i wouldn't even touch the danny green if i were you guys i wouldn't even touch the danny green i would go for devin booker if you need a shooting guard he has 90 mid-range 88 three-pointer 90 contested shot uh 83 shooting touch 88 on ball defense 80 or 88 shot off dribble 80 on ball defense so his shooting stats are better than danny green so so far i like the devin booker and in order to get the devin booker you need to put in 55 peach blossom tokens to get the devin booker so now the third master is this mark gasol and in order to get him you'll need 55 uh what is it yellow yellow charm tokens you'll need 55 of those now i honestly need a center for both of my uh accounts but i don't know if i want to go with this mark gasol uh 88 inside paint shot 84 layup 83 scoring with contact um he has 83 offensive rebounding 79 offensive rebounding uh what's his defense looking like he has 80 on ball defense 85 block 65 steal. if you need a center yeah go for him but i'm not going for him and now we got the big master right here we got the big master now to get this steph curry you need to put in 25 lucky 14 tokens 25 yellow charms you need 25 peach blossoms and you need uh 25 uh green charm tokens okay and you also need four of these um what's it called mark of the bull right mark of the ox you need four mark of the ox tokens now you guys can see i already have one now in order to get these mark of the ox tokens of course you'll need to complete all four of these oh yeah we also got a michael porter forgot about the michael porter he's a small forward he looks pretty solid uh 86 layup 83 dunk uh, 83 mid range 85 tip in he looks pretty solid so if you need a small forward you can go for him but i know in the uh forces of nature promo we had a Kawhi leonard so if you guys got the Kawhi leonard i probably wouldn't go for the michael porter so yeah 
If you complete all four of these, you'll get the four of the Market of Ox tokens, and that'll give you that. But you guys can see I already have one. I ended up pulling one of these Market of Ox tokens out of one of these packs right here. If you go over to the store, if you go to L and Y, and if you scroll over, so every single day you'll be able to open eight of these uh, packs right here, and they'll give you 50 or five of these emblems up to 50 emblems. Now, I ended up pulling, it was either out of this pack or it was out of, actually, I think it was out of one of these. It was out of one of these packs right here that we got. So, was it out of one of those? I forgot which one it was. It was either out of one of the event packs or or it was out of one of the store packs. Um, but basically, you're able to pull the Market of Ox tokens out of those and you're able to pull the Steph Curry out of one of those. Uh, shout out to you guys on Instagram. I've had a few people send me some screenshots of them pulling Steph Curry out of these events. So you guys want to make sure you're playing these events because you have a chance of pulling Curry. You have a chance of pulling the Market of Ox tokens so that if you pull all four Market of Ox tokens out of the events, you're not even going to have to complete these sets to get the Steph Curry. If you pull all of these Market of Ox tokens, all you're going to have to do is get all of these uh, 25 tokens here for each one. Then you'll be able to get this 86 Steph Curry. Now, let's take a look at this 86 Steph Curry, bro. This dude has 91 speed, 86 agility, 84 dribble speed, 83 dribbling, 86 quickness, 88 layup, 87 inside paint shot, 86 scoring with contact, 89 free throw. 89 mid-range, 91 three-pointer, 88 contested shot, 87 shooting touch, 90 shot off, shot off dribble, 87 steal. So he is the big master of the promo. Huge shout out to Steph Curry. Steph Curry is an absolute monster. But yeah, those are all of the masters for the promo. Now, you have another option, all right? EA has given us two options for this promo. We could grind these events and we could throw the collectibles and we can get these 84s or we can take them down here and we can exchange our tokens for red envelopes. All right. So in order to get yourselves a pack of three red envelopes, you'll have to put in one of each of these tokens. All right. One of each of these tokens and you'll be able to get three red envelopes. You can exchange these red envelopes for these players. So we got this set right here. This will give you a select pack of uh, 81 plus players. So you have a chance of pulling 85s, 86, all that good stuff, all right? Uh, you can exchange 40 red envelopes for that, or you can exchange 75 red envelopes for guaranteed 85 overall select pack. You could do that. Or you could change, you can exchange 15 for uh, 375 pluses. Uh, you might be able to pull an elite. You know, you never know what you can pull. And then the last one is you could put in two and that'll give you a coin quick sell up to a million coins. So those are your options right there. Let me test my luck real quick. All right, let's test our luck and let's see if we could pull that mill real quick. Let's see if we could pull that mill out of this pack. We get 2,500 coins. So I probably, I probably wouldn't recommend doing that. I'll probably just throw all of your red envelopes doing that, all right? So you could choose whichever path you want, all right? If you want to get, you know, elite players, you, you have a chance at pulling some heat out of these. So if you want a possibility of making coins, upgrading your team with a bunch of elites, then do this set right here. Um, there's also some objectives that you can complete. If you go to Lunar New Year, I already have all my objectives completed, all right? So every single day they're going to have these objectives and they're going to give you opportunities to earn these red envelopes so i would probably focus on just grinding out the objectives and then stacking up all of these uh collectibles for these players and i recommend you guys going for the players as opposed to the red envelopes um like I said, you know, you could throw in 75, you can get the 85. That's probably going to be good too. But I would focus on doing your objectives every single day. If you do the objectives every single day, right? This is going to be an eight day promo. So you're going to be getting three red envelopes every single day for the objectives. So if you do all that, 
times the eight days, that's already 24 red envelopes right there. So you're guaranteed 24 red envelopes if you do the objectives, so that's good. And if you want to, uh, you know, use these collectibles towards that, you can. It's honestly up to you guys. You know, if you guys uh, want to upgrade your shooting guard position, you can grab this Devin Booker right here. All right, add them to your team. And then after that, you can start working on the red envelopes. It's up to you guys, all right? It really depends on what you want for your team. Uh, I do feel like it is possible to get this Steph Curry no money spent, all right? Um, you're able to pull the Mark of the Ox collectibles from the events and stuff like that. So you're not gonna have to complete every single one of these sets. Like if you complete two, and if you pull two of the Mark of the Ox collectibles, then you should be able to get this done. Um, it seems like it'll be pretty uh, simple to get these uh, specific collectibles. So just make sure you grind it all out. You know what I mean? I'm going to be grinding on both of my accounts. It's going to be tough since my schedule is very busy. But make sure you guys watch your ads. All right. Make sure you guys play league versus league tournaments. Shout out to my tournament or shout out to my league right here. Buck Nation. Uh, shout out to the admins. Raptor Claw. Shout out to the homie B3 Hoops. Uh, shout out to West Philly. And shout out, I know I'm missing somebody. I know I'm missing somebody. Shout out to all my admins. I haven't been active in the leagues because I haven't really been uh, playing the game as much. But shout out to the admins for uh, keeping the league running. We are currently 14 and 6. All right. I am looking for an admin over on my no money spin account all right so if you guys want to become admin uh follow me on instagram all right shoot me a dm and we'll see what's popping all right but um yeah that's basically the gist of it you know what i'm saying uh you grind these events uh if we go back to the events right after you complete all of these specific events for the player now you're, you're going to be able to do these every single day these are all going to reset every single day so after you complete all four of these, you're going to unlock these events right here, the Lunar New Year Blitz. Now, from these Blitz events, you get um, 5 to 50 of the emblems, all right? Now, you exchange these emblems. If you go over to the store, if you go to Lunar New Year, I currently have 660 emblems. They'll show at the top of the screen. You exchange these emblems for these Lunar New Year tokens, all right? Now, it looks like we're only able to open one of these Lunar New Year token bundles. I don't know if they're going to reset every single day or not. But once you get 800 of these emblems, you'll be able to exchange it for uh, the Lunar New Year token bundle. And that's going to give you eight Lunar New Year tokens and a Lunar New Year trophy that could be used in any Lunar New Year master set. And also, you can uh, exchange 100 emblems for any Lunar New Year token. So, it's kind of like, you know, how they did it with the last promo, with the Forces of Nature. Like, you would grind these events, you would get the emblems, you would, you would exchange the Forces of Nature emblems. Uh, no, it, it was Top 100, that's what it was. You would exchange the Top 100 emblems for the Top 100 collectibles, and then you would throw the collectibles into the set for the players, all right? It's kind of like the same thing for this promo. So, overall... I'm going to rate this promo an 8 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? It's a really good promo. I'm liking it. It does seem like it'll be pretty easy to get this stuff done. I like how they made it to where you can either complete the Masters and upgrade your team. Or you can complete the red envelope sets and make some coins. All right. They gave you two specific options. So I would say if you want to make coins, go for the envelopes. If you want to go for the Masters, if you want to upgrade your team, if you want to get the Steph Curry, then go for the players right here. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm liking a promo um, on my no money spin account. I'm going for Devin Booker um, on my main account. I really don't know. My, my no money spin account is better than my main account right now because I don't really grind on this main account. I focus most of my time on my no money spin account because I'm not spending money on that account. But... I'll probably go with Devin Booker on this account as well. Um, I'm going to try to get you guys some gameplay with that Steph Curry pretty soon. I already got people hitting me up, uh, asking me if I want to do some gameplay. So that video will be out tomorrow um, because after this video, I'm chilling, bro. Like, I've had a long day. Um, I was working outside building this house. 
uh, and it was, I live in Columbus, Ohio, there's snow, it's snowing, like, it, the weather's bad right now, super cold, so, your boy's gonna chill for the night, I'm not gonna double upload for you guys, but the weekend is around the corner, so, the uploads, I will, I do wanna try to upload every single day up until the weekend, I think I'll be able to do that, because uh, I do not, I do have a couple of things I have to do this weekend, uh, school-wise, and just life-wise, but, I should be able to get a video out every single day up until the weekend so uh well up until the end of the weekend so make sure you guys have notifications on but look i apologize i haven't really been active lately um and that's just because you know i'm dealing with a lot of school and stuff like that but um i'm i'm never gonna quit youtube you know what i mean so even if i go like a week without uploading i'm always going to upload again all right i'm always going to upload again so don't be scared don't be shocked if i'm not uploading just know that the reason why i'm not uploading is because i literally can't i literally don't have time to do so or i don't have a video to make that's really the only times i'm not going to upload all right um but yeah once again man uh show some love uh on my boy uh j money uh j money's new album is dropping on the 14th of valentine's day you know or 14th of february which is valentine's day you know what i'm saying the album's going to be dope there's 17 songs guys 17 songs on this album j money has been dropping tons of music lately so show some love on his music i'll be bumping his music a lot cheating results is a really nice music uh is a really nice song that he dropped so i recommend you guys checking that out also on his previous album um rio's world uh, he ended up doing a song with me, so I'm, I'm on that album as well, as well as Big Show and as well as JC. All right, so we're all on that last album. So make sure to check out his music. Uh, you guys can pre-save the new album, uh, Living Woes, all right, down below in the description, the top of the description, man. Make sure to follow me, follow him on Instagram as well. I'm going to leave his Instagram and his YouTube channel down below, man. Show some love on J Money. He has some fire music coming out, all right? Me as well, I also have some fire music. I don't drop music as often is because, the reason why I don't drop music often is because, you know, with every single song I drop, I put a lot of thought into it, you know what I mean? Every song I drop has a message to it, all right? And I feel like with the the music that I'm releasing in the future, a lot of you guys are gonna relate to that. My so let, let me talk to you guys about my next album. All right, now that now that we're on the topic of it. So I wanted to drop the second coming. The second coming is the name of my next album that I'm releasing. I wanted to drop this album back in October, but of course, like you know, making music costs money. You know what I mean? Making music costs money. Getting songs mixed paying for the beats and all that stuff all that stuff costs money so i have most of the songs like mixed and everything done all right i literally just have one more song to get mixed and completely done and then that's it and then that album will be completely done so that album is going to have about 14 songs all right so that's going to be my next project all right and the new music that i've been dropping on instagram and stuff like that that music is not going on my next album it's going on an album after all right with each album that i drop i'm going to be leveling up i'm leveling up with each album i want to make my next albums better than the previous ones you know what i mean so the second coming is a fire album all right it's a fire album you guys are really going to like it um a lot of the songs are already up like uh chopper flows up villains up um motivation is up featuring big show uh my own enemy my own enemy is my best song that i've ever released all right you guys really rock with that song so my own enemies on there coming up featuring king jewels is on there um i want to throw old school on there i don't know if they're going to let me throw it on there though but old school i want old school to be on there old school is a banger too um and there's a lot of other songs on there, you know what I'm saying? Like Make You Mine, uh, Inner Thoughts is on there, uh, Before It Goes Away is on there. Um, so yeah, guys, just stay tuned. Stay tuned for the album. Uh, the album after that is going to be way better than The Second Coming. So when I'm telling you that I'm leveling up, like the, the snippets that I'm putting on Instagram is not how The Second Coming is going to sound. 
you know what I mean? But the second coming is way better than my first album that I dropped, which was Awakenment back in April, all right? And Awakenment was basically, that. that's what had like Screw the Haters, uh, Grind Don't Stop, Wishy Washy, Fear the Beast, They Love It, Embodiment, all them older, Bounce Back, all them older songs I dropped back in 2019. So we're leveling up with each project, man. Uh, with this album, The Second Coming, I want to do a music video for My Own Enemy, and I want to do a music video. I want to do two more music videos for that album. I already have a music video up for Fallen Soldiers, so check that out if you guys haven't listened to that already. That song's a banger, too. Um, so yeah, man, there's a lot coming for 2021 as far as, uh, you know, YouTube wise, music wise, the label wise, J Money's dropping a good amount of projects this year. Big Show has a project coming out soon. All right. So stay tuned for that. I got a couple projects coming. I want to do three projects this year and my boy JC, me and my boy JC is going to be working on something as well. So stay tuned for that. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of stuff coming, man. But uh, yeah, I really like the new promo. And the new promo is fire. Let me know what you guys think down below in the, in the uh, comments below. And uh, let me know what you guys are going for. Are you guys taking the red envelope route? Or are you guys grinding strictly for the masters? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys are grinding for the masters, let me know which master you guys are going to be getting. All right. So, yep. If you guys enjoyed this full breakdown of the Lunar New Year promo, make sure to definitely click that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I do drop a new video. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Twitter. All of my music is going to be linked down below. Check out Jay Money, uh, Jay Money's new album. Like I said, man, cop that uh, pre-save. All right, um, show some love. You know what I'm saying? Like we're all we're all just some broke dudes trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we're just trying to make it. So once the album drops, you know what I'm saying? Show some love on you know iTunes. Each song's going to be a dollar. The whole album's ten dollars, guys. You're you're paying ten dollars. For 17 songs, all right, and he's going to be doing some music videos as well. So just show some support if you guys rock with me. You know what I'm saying? You guys will not be disappointed. You know what I'm saying? You guys will not be disappointed. Uh, but yeah, man, drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you guys are new. And y'all know the slogan for the haters. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.